Ready to get cozy? We researched 30 models and bought the 9 best for in-depth testing. Our slipper review and testing covered a wide range of styles, prices, and applications. Whether you're new to the slipper world, just looking for something to wear during a temporary convalescence, or are shopping for your 10th pair and looking to upgrade, our fleet offers a wide selection. Our testing regimen included a battery of both objective and real-world examinations, and we evaluated for ease of getting on and off, walking security and comfort, lounging comfort, laundering simplicity, and durability. The first product on our list is UGG Ascot. We love the UGG Ascot as an extended wear, all-climate, work-from-home option, and it's easy to justify the expense of these top-of-the-line shoes. The natural sheepskin portion of the lining, covering most of your foot, moderates temperature and wicks moisture better than synthetic options. Over hours of wear, you will surely notice the advantages. In testing head-to-head -head for hours and days, we appreciated the natural sheepskin. Choose your size carefully. We found our test pair to be a bit small, but that might differ with the natural variances in the depth of nap in the sheepskin lining. These are also very expensive slippers. Finally, unless you size them way up, somewhat negating many of the benefits, you will have to use a hand or two to get them on. For many, this is a deal-breaker for a slipper, especially when there are competitive alternatives that don't require bending down. With the trickier on and off, these are best for those that will only use them occasionally or wear them for extended periods of time. The next product on our list is Rock Dove Birdseye Knit Two-Tone. The Rock Dove men's two-tone slippers are truly slip-on and available at a very reasonable price. If you just need slippers for short shuffles through the house, these will do the job. The lining is smooth for even easy on and off. The insole, when new, offers nearly the most squishy cushioning in the entire review. Only one had a softer initial feel. Extended use of squishy sole slippers will break them down. That soft initial padding will pack down with time and mileage. Further, the outsole of the Rock Dove is the least grippy of any in our test. In side-by-side -side testing, literally, different models on different feet, these had the poorest traction on carpet, linoleum, and wet outside deck boards. We recommend taking care when walking on these surfaces. The next product in our list is Amazon Essentials Leather Moccasin. The Amazon Essentials men's leather moccasins offer an excellent value for their above-average walking performance. The full heel design stays on your foot better than low heel options, but it's harder to get on. The faux fur lining is forgiving and smooth against a barefoot or sock. The outsole is a little grippier than average. These slippers are low on insulation, not machine washable, and require a hand for most people to get them on. None of these should be deal-breakers if you want budget slippers for extended wear around the house. For quick on and off, a different option will be better. The next product is Zigzagger Fuzzy Microsuede Moccasin. One tester summed up virtually everyone's first impression of the Zigzagger men's fuzzy microsuede with the observation that they feel like walking on a pillow. These have the softest, squishiest insole. It's made with fleece and foam and will certainly compress with time and use, but enjoy the luxurious padding in the meantime. In extended testing, we have come to appreciate that the zigzagger slipper can be used with the heel up for warmth and some security or with the heel folded down for easy on and off. We wish these were better for walking. The full heel coverage suggests that they should walk okay, but that heel slips right off whilst riding. This is sort of the worst of both worlds, the heel requires a hand to get them on, but they don't stay on very well while walking longer distances. On the other hand, the heel cup does provide some insulation while at rest. Overall, we like the layout and wouldn't suggest that these slippers lose the heel cup. Especially when you can fold it down for slip-on convenience, this setup is sort of the best of both worlds. The next product is Acorn Mock. The Acorn Mock scores very well in other reviews, and we can back up these claims. We only include excellent products in our fleet, and the Acorn is a superb and aesthetically pleasing model. It's warm, easy to get on, and made with robust materials and tight tolerances. On the other hand, 
The interior of the Acorn Mock felt lumpier than any other model we tested. Beneath your heel, an Acorn logo, unfortunately, interrupts an otherwise smooth and cushy footbed. Just behind each big toe is a prominent seam that you can feel distinctly without socks on. With socks on, both of these annoyances are lessened, but not gone altogether. The next product is NDB Memory Foam Suede Slipper. The NDB Memory Foam Slipper is the only low heel model in our test that has a slightly hardened outer. This outer layer is imitation suede that sheds grass and leaves better than the fleece outers on the other budget and slip-on models in the test. If your slipper needs to include minimal walking, a price that is friendly on the wallet, and a need to occasionally go out in the yard, this is a good choice. The overall quality is pretty low, with missing stitches and stray threads visible right out of the package. The insole is foamy, but not nearly as cushioning as other options available. In head-to-head -head traction testing, the outsole tied with two other models for the least traction in our entire test. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.